look at this trolley, guys. That's awesome. Future story going to be hopefully getting out to the locals and selling some food that I'm growing here on the micro farm. But today, what we're doing is we're talking about some wormery hacks. Now, some people were really interested in my last video, got some good results, picked up a few subscribers, and people are really interested. So I thought, why not extend it on and give you a top hack today on the big boy, the big one down here. Now, you can use this in the small worm farms as well. Doesn't have to be for the big systems, but we're gonna go down here and have a look at the big boy. I think, where is it? I'm just down there, there it is. Let's go and have a look at it. I'll show you one of the hacks. Now, one of these hacks has been shown a while before, but we're always improving on things. So let's move down there. I'm gonna give you a look, and I reckon you can implement something like this at home. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, just the concept and keep your worms happy and healthy will help you go miles and leaps ahead than you ever thought you could. We'll just get this screen off because I've been using it to screen the compost and we got quite a lot of orders today. And so yeah, $25 screen on top of a wheelbarrow works really good. Now, newspaper and cardboard and egg cartons play a really big role in the big bad boy here. Now the reason being is because what it does is it, soaks up so you really got to soak it in a bin or something like that a lot of water and then put it on top of your bedding now i've got a multiple sort of style of composts in this bedding because i'm making a compost bedding that i can actually sell to the market that grows really great food and at the same time breeding up my worms so i've got more they're feeding on it they're dropping their biology and their castings and things like that making it even better but I've got to take care of them because I am a farmer or we are farmers if you're farming worms. Now, what I do is I put the compost bedding, right? And I start putting thick layers of newspaper on top. Boom, boom, boom. Then another thin layer of compost. I've got mushroom on top, right? And then I've put egg cartons on top. Now, someone said to me in America, they only got plastic egg cartons. I thought, that's really sad that's the case. So if that's the case, just rip up lots of newspaper. Just rip it up and make like this sort of like a leaf style bedding on top and that will really work. Now what happens is, is when we put the layers on top and they come up and start touching it, they get the moisture and go across their skin and it keeps them cool. It keeps, it keeps the temperature at an even rate and they go through the layers, lay their cocoons. They feel safe there when they're dropping their cocoons in there and they know that their little babies are gonna be safe from predators as well. Now, don't think that these little tiny creatures that have got this tiny little brain are stupid. They are at the bottom of the feeding chain. They know that and they know they are susceptible to uh, yeah, being eaten, basically. That's why we open the light up and they go, to go down because they're like hey attack attack we're getting attacked not only is the sun burning us but we might get eaten so when you're providing these layers absolutely beautiful now in the big bad boy which i'm calling it at the moment the big bad boy i have egg cartons on top and i mentioned in the video now if you haven't seen the wormery video i'm going to leave a, a card up here for you if you're in uh, youtube you got to see it there and I've put the egg cartons on top because um, one of the problems is is that it's, it's deep and it wasn't so the water wasn't soaking through enough so the egg cartons I fill them up full of water and then they slowly just let the water into the system and move through the profile and I keep filling it up until eventually they start breaking it down and I rip them up my friends save them for me which is really great because you know we have a few, we had a few eggs here, but it's not enough. So I get them as, yeah, people bring them to church, which is absolutely brilliant. I get big racks of them and stuff and off we go. I'm doing it over and over and over again. So I just fill them up, it soaks through, it becomes worm food later on and it allows water to move through that profile. And eventually I can harvest down at the bottom, which is really, really cool. So there's the hack for today. Well, it's a series of hacks about creating this bedding at the top to keep your worms really happy. And remember, you can do this if you want to take it to the next level 
in your small worm farms as well as big systems such as you're working at and the wormery and also if you've got like a big system like mine uh, when you're creating those layers like that it makes it harder for rats and mice and things to dig through because they dig through a little bit of soil and they hit a hard bit of um, a bit of newspaper that's quite thick and they're like oh and they've got to extend a lot of energy so then they've got to run to the sides and try to get underneath and they just give up you know um, animals are all about how much energy they can put out to get to how much energy they've got to put out to get back in for the food source and if it's too much of a hassle they just go somewhere else and remember with mice and stuff you can just sprinkle around a bit of um, uh, chili powder as well around the outside any mammals up their nose boom they're out of here they <laughs> they won't forget that so anyway there's some cool hacks for you today hopefully that'll help you with your worm farming at your wormery stay tuned for marty's garden if you live locally come and pick up some compost we've got some plants that are growing too and yeah, things are just really happening all right have a great day happy everything god bless and we'll see you at the next video real soon bye for now